In this video, we will be going over prime factorization and how to write prime factorization for any given number. Prime factorization is the breaking down of a number into its prime factors. Now, just so you remember, a prime number is a number with only two factors. Now, this is a slide that you should be copying down and writing in your notebook. Now, how do we find prime factorization? Well, first and foremost, we use a factor tree. So we're going to make a factor tree for the number 24. And a factor tree looks like this. It's pretty simple. We have to think, okay, what times what equals 24? And we can choose any um, number pair that equals 24. So I'm going to do 12 times 2. 12 times 2 equals 24. Now I'm going to keep going down in my factor tree until I get prime numbers. Now the number 2 is a prime number. So when I get to a prime number, I'm just going to circle it. I'm going to circle the number 2. Now remember it's prime because it only has two factors, the number 1 and itself. Next, I'm going to continue on with my factor tree. I know that 6 times 2 is 12. And again, I know 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that. Now 6 is not prime because 3 times 2 equals 6, so I have to keep going with my tree. So I will write 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, both 3 and 2 are prime numbers. Nothing else, there, there's nothing else that can multiply to equal those numbers except for the number 1 in themselves. So I will circle both of them. So now, we're going to, as we circle the prime numbers as they appear, we have to make sure there's no 1's in our factor tree. We could have kept going and done 2 times 1 and 2 times 1 and 2 times 1 and 3 times 1. We don't need to do that because it just makes for more work for us and more numbers to shift through. So you'll notice we've got a 3 and then three twos. So we're going to write our prime factorization now. So we want to go from the smallest number to the largest. So we have three twos. So we're going to do th 2 times 2 times 2. And then we have 1, 3. So times 3. Now if you actually do the math on this, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 3 equals 24. So you can see that this, all we did was we broke 24 down into its prime factors and combined those all together to make its prime factorization. Your homework question number one. Using this factor tree, write the prime factorization of the number 84. Now you'll notice the factor tree is already done for you, so all you need to do is to choose the right answer. What is the prime factorization of the number 84? Make sure you write this down in your notebook and record it on your Google form. Now you can write prime factorization using exponents and we'll practice this a lot more in class. You're not going to do it in your homework assignment tonight but we want to show you what you need to do. So if we have 2 times 2 times 3, we've made our factor tree and let's figure out what this would be for. What's this the prime factorization of? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times 3 is 12. So this is the prime factorization of the number 12. Because we have two 2's, we're going to do 2 to the second power. That second power represents the number of 2's that we have. And then we just do times 3, because we only have one 3. So now for this next one, 3 times 3 times 5 times 5, we've got two 3's, so we're going to do whole number 3 to the second power, because there's two of them, times whole number 5 to the second power, because again, there's two 5's. Now, for this last example, we just have one 2, so we'd write just 2 times whole number 7, because we've got all those 7's, and then we do 7 to the third power because there are three sevens. So this is just a very brief overview of how you use exponents um, when writing prime factorization and we'll go more into this in depth in class. Let's do a couple examples here of factor trees so you can get used to this. I want you to follow along in your notebooks. Let's make a factor tree for the number 90. So I'm going to do 9 times 10. It's pretty easy to work with. 9 times 10 equals 90. And now, neither one of these are prime numbers. So we've got 9 and 10, and 3 times 3 is 9. And then also, 5 times 2 is 10. 
Okay, now we're going to look at these numbers we've got on the bottom of our tree here. We have 3, which is prime. There's only two numbers that go into 3, and it's 1 and 3, so we're going to circle both our 3s. 5 is also prime. There's only two numbers that go into 5, 1 and 5. And finally, we already know 2 is prime, so we'll circle that as well. So notice we circle all the prime numbers in our factor tree. So the prime factorization of 90, again, we want to write these numbers from smallest to largest. So we've got 1, 2, so we do 2. We've got three th or two, two 3s, so we do 3 times 3. And then we've got 1, 5, so we do times 5. Now, how do you think we would write this with exponents? All we would do is do 2 times 3 to the second power, because there are two 3s. That's what that little 2 up there re represents times 5. So 2 times 3 to the second power times 5 equals 90. Now let's do an example for the number 63. We should think, okay, what times what equals 63? Well, let's see. We've got 21 times 3 will give us 63. So we're going to do a factor of 21 times 3 now we know 3 is a prime number, so only has two factors, so we're going to circle the 3. Now we need to keep breaking that 21 down. So what times what is 21? Well, we've got 3 times 7 equals 21. And 3, again, is prime, so we're going to circle it. And then 7, yep, that's also prime. It only has two factors. So the prime factorization of the number 63 is going to be 3 times 3 times 7. Now remember we can write this with exponents, so we're going to do 3 to the second power, because there's two 3's, times 7. So 3 to the second power times 7, or 3 times 3 times 7 equals 63. Now sometimes you'll be asked to find the prime factorization of numbers that are already prime. And so they, their prime factorization is just them, the number themselves. So 17 is already a prime number. So we're going to just simply write 17 down for the prime factorization. Your homework question number two is use a factor tree to find the prime factorization of 36. You need to show your work in your notebook and then you will write the prime factorization without exponents on the Google form. Homework question number three, same thing, use a factor tree to find the prime factorization of the number 40. Show your work in your notebook and record your answer on the Google form. You do not need to use exponents. Last one, homework question number four. Use a factor tree to find the prime factorization of 120. Make sure you are showing your work and record your answer on the Google form. Thank you and we'll see you tomorrow.